made it back and for that we love you we are part two nadgt preview round coming up this weekend so i'm gonna work real quick get this video out again thanks so much for those that are finding my channel here for the first time hopefully this content's helpful for you as you prep for the event huge shout out to nadgt the way that they run the events i've had nothing but positive experience i this is my home course here red mountain south so i love it saw some changes if you didn't see in my last video definitely be sure to go click there and go and check that out but at a thousand subs what we're doing is giving away a dynamic disc recruit basket we're going to play the back nine here at red mountain south hopefully give you some information on your upcoming tournament and uh we'll hopefully make some birdies hole 10 370 i'm gonna go the aggressive play this is not a must get birdie you do bring double bogey into play though if you throw it right again none of y'all that are watching um are going to do that now that you know but this is the more aggressive play heiser flip through the middle right at that wooden telephone pole there little inside it flipped up but that's going to be left that is the miss the like flip up pushing line again so this is a relativity yeah that's birdie <laughs> oh no it's stable but that's what i want okay but that's gonna be backside plenty of distance so again that line with a little bit more push up is is birdie big big arms are going to be able to throw it up and over that and still get the stability to crash right ob all along that fence so if you don't cross you're taking it way back there there's no stance tree in the way double bogey comes into play quick so this is a bailout area you're not going to win the tournament by making birdie here you could you know again potentially lose it by making a double bogey here though so tournament play this is the side to miss on do a little jumper Foot fault birdie bingo hole 11 kind of straight away just under 360 but what you're typically going to see is something real straight right at it for your bigger throwers otherwise you know again you're going to need to see something you know obviously swing out a little bit or get a little bit of turn and finish so you're just really trying to beat that thinner tree in the middle i'm going finish line interval it's like a season destroyer right out of the box Oh, that, uh, that almost skipped up and hit the bottom of the basket. Just a little bit of a better look at the entry. So again, basket right over here. Those are those two trees that you could see off the tee. And then that's that kind of, the one that's more gonna ruin like a birdie shot. Um, and you can't really see it from the tee, but those are the trees to beat. I'm behind the basket now. You're gonna have a lot of shots. I'm gonna skip and be in these trees here as well. So let's try and see if we can bring up a birdie. Everything's pokey out here. Ah, <laughs> uh, par 12. There's a couple of plays, longer throws are gonna be able to just bust something straight at it. The spike play is kind of nice. Um, a neutral fairway or like a neutral, you know, distance driver, something that's gonna kind of land pretty straight, skips no good. You know, obviously can't turn it over, but I'm gonna throw this little hyzer flip push. Need to hit it hard though to get the distance. Not a hyzer flip, but I think I saved it. You get on edge a little. Okay, didn't really get on edge. One skip and that would have been great. I'm gonna be doing a little distance series because this is one of the holes that I feel like if I can throw mid-range versus a fairway, it's a lot easier. I could be thinking or speaking nonsense and kind of bailed out by the tee shot there, but here's where I'm at, you know, 35 footer. It's a little bit of a narrow entry. These aren't horrific, but these bushes used to get pretty tall. And like, if you throw it in there, it's like 50-50, whether you find it or not, you're gonna find it in here now. But again, another option is to kind of, for people who have distance, either go straight at it with like a mid-range or spike something, because you have some room back there. Low, better, yeah. Made the correction. Here's that bush. So if you're short of it, like you just have nothing. You're up and over, around, chipping out. Not very good. You can bring bogey into play. Here's what's beyond it. So, you know, again, high and over it's not horrible if you have that distance, but this is that entry. You can't really, uh, you know, skip anything over. You're going to end up in this bush. So you want it landing flat or really, you know, match up the angle perfectly, but another pause. Hole 13, 370 on the UDIS. This says 381 for the basket. Sorry, if you can't see it, you're gonna see two telephone poles. Um, it's closer to the left one, but really the line is, you know, again, you wanna start it out here on the right, let it skip in. There is uh, some low bushes on the right-hand side to beat. There's a couple trees that you can't see that are long left that, you know, take birdie out of the equation, most likely if you throw it over there. So definitely one you wanna uh, 
you know, keep on this right-hand side. OB all along the right, so tournament play. You really got to clutch up and throw a good one. Clutch up and throw a good one, huh? Wasn't it? But that is probably the bailout for the tournament play. So back in here, that's where we teed off from. I'm, I'm over here left, but these are the trees that you couldn't see from the tee. So again, if you throw it over and under there, very low ceilings, hard to get. This tree's kind of long right, uh, higher ceiling, so it's a little bit easier, but that's the entry. This is what it looks like coming in. So again, shot should be coming in, landing, skipping, park, but you get a little bit inside, a little deep. You're, again, I don't wanna say in trouble, but it makes birdie a little bit tougher. So it takes a you know particular shot to, to make birdie here. This is a good get. Hole 14, 380, down here. So you kind of got two lines. I'll, I'll, I'll likely throw both. You've got the hyzer. If you got more power, that's easier. It's also probably a little bit safer than fooling with this tree. See if it has any fight. That's way torqued over, and it does. And a pretty big skip. So the other line is out here to the right. I'm gonna go distance driver, Daytona. Maybe. It looks absolutely parked, but AMIs as well. It said parked, but it's really like 25 short. But we threw from right over here. So again, you got that tree to beat. You also have another tree back over here, which is gonna pinch you off for birdie. But again, probably the folks who make birdie here are gonna have the arm to throw it out wide. So again, around this tree out wide, and then you have nothing but air coming into this. Nearest bush is like 100 feet short is player B. So. Player A, I want to measure it. I don't see it yet, but I freaking hucked it for me. So I think it's pretty good. So I'll go check it out, but I can get this guy. Player B, 1,000 rated. I just realized as I turned off the camera and was headed to walk to the next basket, but that disc right there is that relativity. That is absolutely pumped. I'm going to use U disc to give me a number, but I'm standing at 392 behind the basket. Hole 15, 255, basket is here. Again, kind of a birdie guy, for sure. Oh, and that, I feel like 80 feet long there, which smash. It was right, um, but it was like 450, so love that. But again, definitely a birdie op. You're gonna see a couple different lines. I'm gonna go putter, this is the watt. Okay, I didn't hate the release. I, the result, finding out that that is a little bit flippier. Another play you're gonna see is something that's gonna kind of crash in. So I'm gonna go, this is a, a fireball. I'm gonna go up and over these trees to the right, let it crash in. So you're gonna see a lot of that play. That's parked, fun little obstruction here. I'm just gonna go right over top. Yeah. All right, well, got another birdie. So that finds us at four under. No change, but that was the fireball. So this looks like from behind the basket. So we threw from right back there. Fun little obstruction, that's that tree. So the big hyzer is gonna be missing that. And then again, another obstruction over here where you get to the basket. So kind of fun, you know, again, if you're going straight, you gotta beat a couple things. Here's what I will say though. If you're down in here, you hit this tree or you hit that tree. Down in here is not horrible. Take you down here. Here's what the putt looks like. So you crash, you hit the tree. Oh, 15 footer. Oh, you end up over here on this side, 12 footer. So again, could get a little unlucky, but you should have a straddle out and a putt. So again, this little, this little wash, not an awful place to be on this hole. So definitely don't be too worried about this side. Just left of the tree up there. This hole is 344 on UDIS. I'm going era, forged era. I've had in the bag a little bit. Turning over. That's one of my better throws on this hole. It's gonna be under the basket. As far as options, you're gonna see that kind of straight play. There's also a play. So if I disc up, a distance driver, something more stable anyway, and swing it out to the right. Um, you know, probably a little any release and then let it, you know, skip back over. Might be hard to see, but it'll be getting on edge now. 
And yeah, just in front of that tree, red uh, era, absolutely parked. I had the Daytona was like here, it's probably like 25 feet. So again, that did skip over. Again, this tree, pretty tall. Um, it is low hanging. These bushes here are in the, on the front side and make it really hard to make a putt from underneath there. And then your kind of early crash out hyzers are gonna be up over here. So again, teed off back there. I kind of uh, turned it off of this, went in and you know, again, absolutely parked. I'll tap it in. I know everybody likes uh, sound of chains, so let's get one. All right, hole 17. Seven, I'm going to interval. There's a pole of baskets on that. Um, there's a ravine that's short of it. So basket, there's a ravine that's short. So it's gonna stop it. You're gonna be like circle's edge. And then there's that tree about 40 feet right of the basket. Curious if just whether or not that has the pop. Okay, I'm gonna be kind of in that in that ravine. All right, right in the wash, probably like 40, a little right. And 400 feet off the tee. Again, that's kind of the the tree I was kind of pointing to off the tee um, that you want to kind of beat. But as you can see, it's kind of parallel. So shots that are hyzering in and you know are going to skip under a basket, you, you really need to land it here. Of course, have this ravine that I putted through. So. Again, a little bit tricky. Um, it's a good get. Need to, you know, throw a specific shot to uh, to make birdie here. Thanks all. Hey, one more hole. We're going to 18. Thanks so much for watching. Again, please be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We're giving away a basket at a thousand subscribers. Cost nothing to get in. Have a chance to get a basket. We are at 408 from this box. That's a ripper for me. Go throw something on hyzer and kind of single angle. So that's what we're going for here. Heiser release, flipped up. Yeah. I mean, that had plenty of distance, which is wild for me. Give you a quick look at the putt. This thing like short hopped this bush, which is pin high. And I said, this is 400. I don't think I'm breaking any rules by going in sideways like that, but keep me honest. Birdie, so that six total, six down, that's pretty good for me. So this is behind the basket looking over here so again quick little look it's the bushes that i was in we do have um we do have some bushes long as well that doesn't look attached so you can move that and it looks really dead so i'm sure that that could be moved i'm not going to test there i don't want to get poked but here's what we're looking at uh you have uh your second hole is out here so again nothing but room short and left so again if you've got uh you can make par to win I chuck something up over here. Um, you are gonna have like OB right and then long. That's gonna be pretty tough to get to. I've thrown it out of bounds, so it's, you know, again, it is doable, but um, to be clear, I've thrown it out of bounds right on the old grip, grippy doodle. But um, thanks again so much. Um, really appreciate you checking it out. That's the NABGT back nine. That event is happening on January 6th and 7th. Huge shout out to the event crew. Hopefully this is a video that helps you play your best when it comes to your event. Till next time, see ya flickers.